guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a whole body circuit. So we're doing 40 seconds on of the exercise, 20 seconds off of the exercise. And it took the first round took me 16 minutes. And you're gonna watch me do the second round because I wanted to get the flow down first. And I think it's super beneficial for you guys to see that I also die during these workouts. <laughs> I'm no superwoman. Um, so we'll do two rounds of the 16 minute circuit. As we're doing a lower body exercise, we'll probably be putting some arms or back or triceps into it um, in order to get the whole bod. I haven't been doing a whole lot of abs because of baby bump, but today I do throw in one ab exercise into it. Um, so if you want to throw in some extra abs, you are more than welcome. All right, so sweat is dripping and my rest break is about over. So let's get into this whole body sweaty circuit. So here is my whole setup. Um, I've got a band. I've got a little bit of a lighter weight here, a heavier weight here, a ball, which you'll need, and a bench. That's all you need for this circuit. And of course, your handy dandy water bottle. Alrighty guys, so started off this workout with a five minute incline walk on the treadmill. Incline it as much as you can, and I did a speed of three miles per hour. Then I started off this circuit with lateral walks with a band around my calves. The lower the band is, the harder that it is going to be. Just make sure that your knees are staying in alignment with your toes. Um, if you do put that band a little lower. So the reason that I turn my body here is so that I'm leading with the same foot for the entire 40 seconds. After you do that for 40 seconds, take those dumbbells you were carrying and do a lateral fly with your thumb up, bicep curl, and then shoulder press. That is gonna be one combo movement that you will perform for 40 seconds. So it's three motions here, starting with that lateral raise, thumb up, bicep curl, and uh, shoulder press. Make sure that throughout this exercise you are keeping your shoulder blades pinched together in the back to ensure that you're using proper form throughout this exercise. After you've finished the 40 seconds, take a 20 second rest break, and then we will hop into the next exercise, which is just doing the other side of our lateral walk. So here I'm leaning with my right foot. I turn around at the end so that I continue to lead with my right foot for 40 seconds. Once I've rested for 20 seconds, then we are going to do 40 seconds of um, glute kickbacks with a band around your ankle. So here I did a little bit of a variation. I do long kicks for a while and then once that starts to burn out, I do small little pulses at the end. Um, just to kind of continue going. I was burning out a little bit. So you're gonna do 40 seconds on each side, rest 20 seconds in between. Here is me just doing the other side, just a short little clip showing the other side. Then after that we will go into um, lateral kicks, so side kicks. And you will do, you'll break this one up a little bit. So we're, it's gonna be a total of 40 seconds, but you're gonna do 20 seconds on each leg. Doing 40 seconds of lateral kicks can just be a lot. So here we just broke up that 40 seconds into two 20s. Once you have turned around and done the 20 seconds on the other side, then you can go ahead and rest for 20 seconds before we get into our next exercise. Our next exercise is going to be a combination movement that we'll do for 40 seconds. So you're gonna go down into a goblet squat, put dumbbells in each hand, keep them between your legs, and as you're down into that goblet squat, do a hammer bicep curl. I'm gonna turn here so that you can see it from both sides. You're gonna want a wide stance here for that goblet squat. Keep your arms nice and pinched to your side and hammer curl up. Once you have finished 40 seconds, go ahead and rest for 20 seconds. Now we'll go into the next exercise, which is going to be single leg hops with a reverse lunge. So you'll do each side for 
40 seconds. So here I'm starting with the left, hopping up with the left, reverse lunge with the left. You'll continue that for the 40 seconds and then take a 20 second rest before going into the other side. Now I know 20 seconds can go by extremely fast, so do make sure that during that time you're getting as hydrated as possible. You don't wanna go through this entire circuit without drinking any water. As I mentioned before, I am trying to keep some of my rest breaks in here so that you guys can see just how much I was dying. After this one, you'll, you'll really see how much your girl was struggling. <laughs> rest then we will go into single leg hip thrusts I went ahead and I folded my foot over my knee here just for comfort I didn't want to hold it up but you're more than welcome to put it straight out and hold it up make sure here if your foot is crossed over your knee that you're staying in alignment and going straight down sometimes that extra weight can make you veer off to the right so just make sure you're watching your form on that we'll stay on each side for 40 seconds and make sure that you're getting that 20 second rest in between each side. Now we'll go into some tricep dips. I did put my feet a little wider here. Um, it helps me get down a little lower because of the baby bump. But I also have noticed that with this wider stance, I'm less likely to push weight down into my heels. So I know it's really awkward and you look like you're open to the world, but um, it really burns the triceps because you can put more weight into your triceps instead of focusing that into your heels. You'll stay there for 40 seconds, take a 20 second rest, and then hop into this next combination movement. So you're going to do a deadlift with a row. I showed this on my Instagram. This is a good movement that I've started to like lately. So you'll go into that deadlift, stay down into the deadlift, and then do a row with your back. You're going to stay here for 40 seconds. After 40 seconds, you'll take a 20 second rest and then we'll move into what we have left. One of our last exercises is going to be a dumbbell fly. We're going to do it on a ball here so that we encourage our core to work a little harder because there's less stability. It also allows your glutes to work a little bit um, to keep you in that bridge position. You'll stay here for 40 seconds, so make sure you grab a lighter weight. After that 40 seconds, take a 20 second rest, and then we are going to go into our very last exercise. We've made it, guys. Our last exercise is going to be these oblique twists here. So usually you would want more of your butt on the ball. I'm keeping a lot more of my core on the ball just because I don't want to engage my rectus very much because it's very uncomfortable for me at this point but here I wanted to make sure I got those obliques. So roll up onto the ball a little bit so that less of your body is on the ball and you will feel the difficulty in this. You'll stay here for 40 seconds and then you will take a two minute rest and repeat this whole thing one more time. Alrighty guys, that is going to be it for this workout. I hope you got a good sweat on like myself. I'm still dripping. Um, I did want to do some bench hop overs into a burpee. So like you hop over the bench and then on that side you burpee. But I didn't wear the most supportive sports bra, which is not something I've ever had to worry about um, because I never had boobs before. So uh, I kind of nixed that, but if you want to add it in, you are more than welcome. So I hope you all have a lovely day. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.